and we inch closer to another presidential primary, the next big get is New York, which should be a shoe. I mean, it should be easy, right? Trump and Hillary, they got it. They got it in the bag. Well, not so, says many people. It is, and they're taking it very seriously, too. Oh, yeah. Besides Donald Trump, who apparently is on a plane or on a yacht or in a house somewhere, because <laughs> let's just keep it cool. His version of Where's Waldo? Where's the Trumpster? Joining us on the phone, political strategist and founder and president of Empowered Women, or Women, Empowered Women, Mindy Finn. Good morning. Good morning. So what are we looking at? We're a week away now from New York. I think a lot of people thought this would be a shoe in for Trump and Hillary. It's appearing that that may not be so. They are actually going to have to work a little bit for it. Where are we standing now? Well, you know, right now, um, I mean, it really is Donald on the Republican side, Donald Trump's um, state to lose. Um, this is one of those cases where home state advantage really does matter. Um, Cruz um, had the attack against Donald Trump earlier in the race about New York values, accusing him of having New York values, which New Yorkers apparently didn't take too kindly to. And when Cruz showed up um, in the Bronx for an event last week, uh, he was booed. So, but he is campaigning there, um, you know, even um, showing up in some places that people might not have expected, where he, he baked matzah um, with an, ortho, an, an Orthodox Jewish community in, in Brooklyn. Um, and so, you know, it's the there's a real goal here um, in terms of Donald Trump. I mean, if he does, um, he's leading at about 54%, and if he does finish at that number, he gets all the 95 delegates from the state, which is obviously a, a lot of delegates um, at this point. But if he finishes under that 50% threshold, um, then there is some opportunity to get some of these congressional district delegates, and that's really um, for, um, you know, the goal here is to keep him under that 50%, um, because Cruz has been edging on him in the delegate race, um, and he obviously doesn't want um, Trump to pick up that close to 100 delegates. I would say, though, at this point, it really is Trump's to lose, and it would be a real, real upset um, if for some reason he didn't get over that 50%. Um, on the Democratic side, you know, Hillary Clinton obviously has, um, you know, they're not showing that they're, they're super rattled, but she's had a, a string of losses to Bernie Sanders, um, you know, some of them kind of unexpected. He, he He's done well in many contests, and, and he's nipping at her heels. Um, now we know when we look at the delegates and superdelegates that his, his um, path is really an uphill climb, but it certainly doesn't make her a strong frontrunner the more that he wins. And so in New York, that's a really important state for her. She does have a very big lead, um, according to polls. It's around 53% to his 37 So that would be a pretty big goal for him to, to, him to make up. Um, but we still are a week out. And as we've seen in this election, the um, the thing that not to do, conventional wisdom just hardly ever uh, bears out. We've had more surprises than we could ever imagine. And so I'd I think say. given that, you keep your eye on the ball on, on any state, even a state that shows that the two front runners, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, have, have pretty wide leads at this point. And if you're a poll person, a new Fox News poll found that, listen to this, Bernie, Donald Trump leads in every group, men, women, every age group, every income group. I and among those with and without a college degree. Wow. So I, I co-sign with what Mindy's saying. It's mm -hmm. his to lose for sure. What about on the Democrat side? Obviously, Bernie Sanders, the Northeast has been a stronghold for him. It's sort of where he's from, and he's also from New York. Where do we stand with that one? Is it going to be another upset for Hillary? Yeah, I mean, Hillary um, has a pretty, pretty strong lead. I mean, remember, as much as Yes, Bernie Sanders is from New York originally. He's from Brooklyn. But Hillary Clinton was the senator from that state. And since the Clintons left the White House, you know, they made New York their home. And so um, I think it would be really, really shocking and, and in fact, devastating um, if Hillary Clinton lost that state. I think even if it's the close, it's not a very, it doesn't open up a very good narrative for her um, just because she should win New York by an absolute landslide. If any state in the country would be her state to win, it would be New York. All right, Mindy Finn, we look forward to it, and we'll have all eyes on New York next Tuesday is when voters head to the poll there. We appreciate you joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Have a great day. Thank you. you.